Okay guys, what we're going to do here is start with a clean build. I'm in Confluence and now we just need to change to a Nox skin. So you go to uh, System and then we're going to go to Appearance. And then we're going to flip over to Confluence and click it. Now when you do that, you'll see only Confluence. So go to Get More. And we're going to put uh, Aeon Nox on. Now this build, I've added a couple of things already to it. It's not a completely fresh build. And then click Install. Switch to it, yes. Keep it, yes. Okay, so this is Aeon Nox. Now it's kind of plain, you see the same background on everything, and I don't like the banner in the middle. So let's change that. Go to System and Skin Settings. And then you're going to go to Aeon Nox Main Menu Horizontal Position. Click it. And click Low. Now you'll see it's at the bottom of the screen. Much better for having cool backgrounds. Okay, let's get into it now then. So now we're going to go to Skin Settings and we're going to go to Set Up the Aeon Nox Main Menu. So you'll see in here that we have um, quite a few things enabled. Now I don't want pictures on my main screen so what I'm going to do is go through and pick out some of these and turn them off. Keep on the ones I want and remove the ones I don't. So when they're enabled, they're going to show on the main screen. So just because you see them in here doesn't mean they're on the main screen. So let's let's uh, disable some of these. And you'll see there's quite a few less now. And there's still a couple more though I want to get rid of. I'm going to make this a four tab build just to show you how to do it. So need to go back into system and skin settings in the setup and now remove the ones that we don't want. So just tick them off. And there we go. So I'll show you again four tabs. System, power, music, and movies. Okay, so we're going to go back into skin settings and we're going to build these. So go to setup and the first one we're going to go to is music. Now I want this to be a music add-on so we're going to go right into default select action and see you have all these different choices of stuff you can pick. You can go in and look at each of them and see whether or not it's something that you want to add. Now for this tutorial though I'm going to do just an actual add-on but you could pick any of these. And then when you click that tab on the main screen, it'll take you there. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to go to Actually, I'll just show you really quickly here. So, common video library, music library, pictures, add-ons, favorite settings, and we've got um, commands and shortcuts. So, we're going to go to add-on. I'm going to go to music add-on. And we're going to add this. We're going to create a shortcut to here. So when we click on the main tab, it'll open this exact add-on. So next, what we're going to do is show you how to add a background. So you would click on this, and now I put my um, folder of backgrounds right on my desktop, so it was easy to find. So you, I recommend you do that too. Um, find a, make a folder, fill it, put it somewhere where you can actually access it, and then go in and pick up the picture you want. So for music, I'm going to pick Mike's uh, water guitar. I love this one. And now that sets it as a background. Okay, so we're almost done. Now we're just going to do the sub menu. So you click on it. And you'll see that sometimes there's ones that are already in there. You don't have to keep those. You can change them up. So how we do that is you go to type. Now you see over on the right, it says common. So these are all the main, the normal ones you would use. I, I like to get a little more specific, but I'll show you all the different categories. So you've got common. Okay. 
You've got Cody commands. You've got your favorites if you've set any. Add-ons. This is my favorite section. You got playlists, library sources, music library, and video library. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the add-ons. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to go and we're going to pick a music add-on. And what we do is pick the uh, submenu for it. So you can pick anything. You just click on it and then pick its submenu and then create shortcut to here. So we're going to go to the next one. You can put anything in here. It doesn't have to be the one from that specific add-on, but it's just kind of neat to have its submenus. So we're going to go to the next one down and go back over to type and then slide back in and then pick it. This time we're going to go to video and choose whatever you want. Once you click it, click create shortcut to here. And there we go. So now we have these two. Now sometimes you have all these extra submenus you don't want. Now they're really easy to get rid of. You just highlight them and click over to delete. And there you go, all nice and clean. Now there's a few other things you can do. Now if you want to move things around, you just highlight it and move it up or move it down. And you can also rename it if you want by going to set label. And then you can type in anything you want. And there we go, all nice and clean. So now that's setting the submenu. So, what I also like to do in here is, I'm not, I'm just going to call it music. So you just edit the label right here. So click on it. And change it to music. Or whatever you want to call it. My music, or cool music, or whatever. So now we've done that, we've set the background, we've set the default action and the submenus. So that tab is all now good to go. So let's go have a look at it. So if you scroll over, you see you got your new background, you got your new name, and you've got your submenus named whatever you want. So you can actually stop here if you want. That's that's the main thing I'm showing you today, but I am going to go through the whole process with all four tabs. So if you want to keep watching, go ahead. So back to skin settings and back to setup. This time we're going to the movies tab. This time I'm going to put a movie add-on in. I'm going to go with Genesis. So select default action, go to add-on, Video add-on, Genesis, create shortcut to here. Now we're going to change the background, set single image background, and go find it. It'll differ for everybody. And there we go, and now we're going to set the submenu. See, there's a few other things you can do in here. I'm just staying basic though, so if you want to try other stuff, go ahead. For, for now, click Manage Submenu. And once again, you have all these extras in here, so let's change them up. I'm going to go to Type, I'm going to change it over to Add-ons, and we're going to go find Genesis. So I'll click it. And um, I really like the search in Genesis, so actually if you click up, it'll take you to the bottom, and you click search, create shortcut. This is a really nice one to have on your main screen. Now go to the next one, go back to Genesis, I'm going to add TV, or sorry, movies, and create shortcut. Uh, next one, let's go maybe with TV shows, there we go. Create shortcut. Back again to the next one. This time we'll put in maybe my Genesis. And there we go. Create shortcut. Now let's get rid of the rest of these. It just makes it look silly. 
There we go. Now my Genesis, let's move that up. And just for kicks, let's label it. And done. So now everything's done for this tab. So let's have a look. And our music, and now we've got Genesis. There we go. Okay, so next one. I'm going to set up. I'm going to go to um, System next. Um, I don't like the name of that. I'd rather call it Settings. So let's edit the label. There we go. Now we're going to add the background and now the submenu. So I'd like to leave these alone because um, Setup actually has some pretty good stuff in there. Something else, though, you can add anything else you want to it. And for kicks today, let's add a clean video library. Um, if you have your own stuff in here, like your own libraries, if you add and remove stuff a lot, you're going to want to clean them up often. So just go to Add to add a new tab. And then go to Clean Video Library and click it. Or whatever you want to add. It doesn't have to be that, obviously. So see how when there's no arrow beside it to drill down, it'll automatically just do it right straight over without you having to hit, you know, sh create shortcut to here. So let's move that up. And we're done. As you can see, it's, it's really simple to do. It's just, it's a little time consuming to make it your own, but it's so worth it. All right, so now last one. So we'll go to skin settings again and we're going to go to setup. This time we're going to go to power. Now I want to switch this up because a lot of people are using these on um, a PC or a Mac. Now if you hit power what's going to happen is it's going to turn off your entire computer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that. We're going to go into uh, default select action and we're going to go to Sorry, wrong one. We're going to go to Cody Commands. Now in here, we'll go to Quit. Because if you use Quit instead of Power, you'll just close Cody and not shut down your entire computer. So let's set the background. Another one of my favorites of mics. And we'll go once again to the sub menu. I know this is repetitive, guys, but it's just to show you how easy it is. So now, since we have quit as the main tab, we don't need it in the sub menu. So click over and delete. So pretty easy to do. Um, once again, show you really quickly again, how you can add anything to this. So let's go over to here and just add it in place of. And now when you go back out you'll see that oh, there it is. Movies tab right below quit. You can put anything anywhere. This is such a great skin. I love it. So we'll do a quick look around. So there you go. Completely customized Nox. New tabs new backgrounds, and new submenus.